Okay, quick tutorial on form emailer. When you're creating your quiz first, it is crucial to remember to automatically collect your student's email uh, address, which is going to show up as a username on your answer sheet. So make sure that is checked when you create your quiz. Then, from the responses sheet, where they're going to have their answers, you're going to insert the script, and I think we did that much to get form emailer here. Uh, go ahead and install, and you may have done this step too already. You want your form responses sheet, which is right here, the one to be graded, so go ahead and click install, whatever that's named should match. And then form emailer is going to generate this other directions sheet with all this stuff, and this is what we saw this afternoon. It was like, what is all that? Just ignore this page and go back to your answer sheet and don't look at it. Go up to, and notice form emailer has created its own column now. Go up to form emailer and go into settings, and you're going to make some changes here. You want the students to know who they're getting the email from, so just go ahead and type your name. You want form emailer to send to all your individual students, so it's going to pull their name from here. I can't like move this over all of a sudden, but this next column over where it says username right here is going to be right here. You want it to be the username placeholder so that form emailer knows what email address to send the message to. Click username and insert placeholder. Then you can change the subject line to hold on, quiz scores or whatever you want to call it. You're going to uncheck this box. You're not sending any HTML. And you're going to get rid of all of this message because you're going to type in your own email message and you're going to tell these people how they did on the quiz. So you're going to say hi, and you want to be personable, right, and say their name. So find the column that indicates the kid's name and put a placeholder. And since you're in the email body, now you have to do these placeholders. These placeholders are just for these lines right here. So now this is all the email message placeholders. So hi, so-and-so and it's going to pull this answer from whatever's listed in the column over here that says name. And then go ahead and type the rest of your message. I have graded your quiz, your score is blank. And now you want to pull from the column, see I have a score over here, you want to pull from the column that names the score. So find that, whatever question is called, uh, indicating their score, and insert the placeholder. Form emailer will then pull whatever's listed in this column under the score and put it right there for the kid. Then you can say whatever else you're going to say and then end your email and save and close. And that's it. So a few simple changes. Uncheck that. Change these things. Use placeholder for the student name. Just find student name, um, username, email so it knows who to email. Put the student's name right here. Do a placeholder right here in the body of the email. Do a final score placeholder right here so that it pulls that information from this form. Then save and close. Then you have to execute like this. Process manually. It's going to ask you what row do you want to send an email to and you say, okay, row two. I'm going to let that student know how they did. And now Cheryl was just notified of her score. Line 2 was processed successfully. And you get a little status update right here that an email was sent. There should be a way to mass email um, all your lines because it kind of implies that right here. But I haven't gotten that to successfully work yet, so I'm kind of still working on that. For now, you can manually process whatever lines you want that are graded and it's still going to be faster than individually composing an email to all your students. When they check their email, it's going to look like this. They're going to get an email with quiz scores and it says, hi Cheryl, I have graded your quiz. Your score is 34. Thanks Mr. Price. See how it pulled the score, it pulled the name, it knew who to email, 
all from those placeholders. So that is basically it um, on Form E. Miller. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.